Hello, this is Barbara from Synchro Ranch Branch Library in Katy. I'm here to talk about Computers 101, specifically turning your computer on and off. Each computer will have a physical power on and off button. It will be located in different places depending on what type of system you have. If your computer has a separate computer tower, separate from the monitor, the on off button will be located most likely on the computer tower near the front. If you have an all-in-one system where the monitor includes all the hardware, the power on and off button should be located on the side of the monitor. And if you have a laptop, the button should be located on the surface of the keyboard near the top where the keyboard folds with the monitor. Now that you have your power on button located and the, and the computer is turned on, let's talk about shutting down your computer. To turn off your computer, you need to initiate a shutdown sequence in your operating system instead of simply manually turning off the power with the power button. To do this, click on the start button at the bottom left of your screen. You should get a drop down box that looks like this. Now my drop down box gives me choices of sleep, shutdown, and restart. Some of your computers might just have the shutdown and restart button, but let's talk about these options. If you prefer to stop your computer running but not turn the power off, you would choose sleep. If you want to reboot, such as turning, which is turning off and turning on your computer, perhaps if um, some programs are not running and it just doesn't look like it's working well, then you would hit restart. But if you're done with the computer for the day and you want to shut off the power, you would click on shut down. Now if your computer freezes for some reason and you can't click on any of those three options and you can't let it do anything, then your best bet is to reset it by turning it off and then back on after a few seconds using the power off and on button. To do this, manually press that power on and off button and hold it until the computer powers off. Wait a few seconds, maybe about 10, and then manually press the power on and off button again. Unless you have a computer malfunction, don't make it a habit of always turning off your computer manually with the power on and off button. Instead, you should do that shutdown sequence I talked about earlier. If you don't do that, your operating system may not start up properly the next time you turn on your computer. Thank you.